Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove popping P sounds from your audio track in Audacity. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we'll be doing is listening over to our audio track. We're going to be identifying where we have our popping P. If you don't have one, click the card on screen to my previous video where I show you how to make one. So you can tell we have our harsh P sound somewhere around here. Now to identify this, we're going to be zooming into our track by holding control and then scrolling in with our scroll wheel. And we're going to see our popping P sound is this nice, harsh, big, squiggly line here on top. Now this is where we can tell our P is. And if we listen over to this, it's just going to be a harsh puff of air. Now this of course is a more extreme example, not all of them will sound this bad, but we're going to be diminishing this as best we can in Audacity. So what we're going to be doing is coming up to our effect and we're going to be coming to equalization. Now once we're in our equalization curve, we're going to be going to select curve and we're going to be using the 100 hertz rumble. Now this should be one of the default curves in your equalization effect. If it's not, you can kind of mirror this effect by just clicking and dragging these points. You basically want a steep down curve from the 100 hertz line. But to be doing this, all we want to do is click OK, and we're going to see our P sound is much smaller already. If we listen over to this, it's going to sound much less harsh. If you don't have one, click the card on screen to my previous video where I show you how to make one. So you can tell it's much less of a punch compared to before. Now this, of course, is a more extreme example, like I said earlier. So this is not going to be a perfect solution. But if you find that it's still too harsh, you can go ahead and add a second one. So I'm going to be doing that here to repeat the previous effect in Audacity. Simply click Control and R, and it will do it again automatically. And if we listen over to the whole thing again, if you don't have one, click the card on screen to my previous video where I show you how to make one. Anyway guys, it's that easy to remove some harsh popping peas in Audacity. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal and my Amazon affiliate link. If you found these videos helpful and you want to support me, be sure to check those out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time as always, keep it saucy. Peace.